That's a money order somebody dropped into a kettle. It's not the way we're used to seeing the Red Salvation Army kettles. These have been left cracked open and thrown on the floor with nothing but loose change littered around them. Uh, lots of coins. Obviously, they didn't take many of the coins. Administrators at this Southeast D.C. Salvation Army say a suspect or pair of suspects broke into their building along MLK Jr. Drive through a third floor balcony. They tell us whoever did this knew exactly what they were looking for. They broke the window for one office. They gained access to this office and they systematically went kettle to kettle taking out uh, any of the uh, dollar currency that was in there, which could be dollars, you know, dollar bills, fives, tens, twenties. And that suspect headed for the doors in a mad dash to get out of here with all the stolen money. It was at that point that we're told he encountered a security officer. He pulled a knife on that person, then took off running. They took upwards of $10,000. We're estimating the minimum to be $10,000. Cash was taken not only from the red kettles, but also from a safe which stored donations from the previous two days. It was all money intended to go help needy families in Ward 7 this holiday season. I really can't say what it is. I don't know if it's, you know, just because of hard times or what it is, but still, you know, the route from the, from the, the poor is, you know, it's, it's kind of cruddy. Uh, what do you make of the notion that this person knew where they were going, that they either worked here or knew someone who worked here and had good information as to where to go find this money? I don't want to guess about that. We'll leave that to the police to, to figure out. We're told police are looking at surveillance cameras, but so far have come up empty in the way of any arrests.